Hey everyone, I'm Jessie Lang coming to you from the LA Basin to do something that has never been done before with the 2012 Tesla Model S. Now to prepare for this, yesterday Frank Marcus and the rest of the Motor Trend test team went out and did the actual range verification. So Frank, what is our magic number? Well Jesse, the magic number is 238 miles. That's how far Kim and Benson managed to drive the car on a mixed loop of highway running and some coastal roads and so forth. They did report a, a strong headwind on Interstate 15, so that's part of the reason they fell a little bit short of the 265 mile range that the EPA five cycle test predicted for the car. Now yesterday we never ventured too far from the safety of charging stations or from the advanced infrastructure of Los Angeles, but today we are taking off the training wheels. We're aiming to complete a classic road trip. We're going to try to go from Los Angeles to Las Vegas in one charge. Frank was the perfect person to take on this road trip because we'd both gone to the Tesla factory in June to see the Model S come off the line. And although we each had the chance to drive it, we both had wanted more seat time. Needless to say, we were excited. All right, our trip has begun. We are now officially on the road. We are on I-15 heading north. That's right. We're on the very edge of the eastern edge of the LA basin. This is as close to Las Vegas as we can get and still call it LA. The uh, nav system says we have 215 miles to go, well within the range that we managed to do yesterday. But first thing we have to do is climb the Cajon Pass. We're at about 900 feet of elevation right now. We're going up to 3777. <laughs> okay. uh, that's a lot of energy. The lower the speed you can go on the uphills, the better, because it's all about you know, the rate of energy use and so forth. Let's go right. real easy. I'm going to slap you every time I tell your <laughs> foot to go down on that pedal, OK? OK. Although we'd done extensive range tests with the Model S the day before, with so many variables at play, no one in the crew was certain if we would actually make it. But we were going to do all we could to increase our chances of success. Also, we should mention that we are both sweating profusely because we have decided not to use the air conditioning so that we can spare and reserve all the power the car possesses. Yeah, it's a deodorant test as much as it is a range <laughs> test here. And it's unrealistic, truly, to go like this. People would not drive to Las Vegas this way. But the idea is that once cars like this that can go two or 300 miles on a single charge are a little more prevalent, then these various companies will start putting charging stations halfway on these popular routes like LA to Vegas. At which point you would be able to go 70 or 80 miles an hour with the air conditioning on. Yeah, totally feasible. Make one stop and, and make it. So we're just trying to do it without the one stop. We got to sweat a little to do that. But it's worth it. It is worth it. It's totes worth it. <laughs> and the car that we are driving today is Tesla's P85. This is the second car to come off the line. That's pretty cool. It is cool. This is Elon Musk's own car, I do believe, as well. Black over black. Thanks awfully, Elon, for the <laughs> desert drive here. Appreciate. It was 104 degrees inside the car, in fact, but we really wanted to make it to Vegas, and we were willing to sweat to do it. In fact, we were willing to climb the Cajon Pass at the slowest speed allowed by law, a speed that's not well tolerated by many American drivers. Yeah, 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 we're getting over. All right, all right, all right, all right. But what our fellow travelers on the open road didn't understand was that pacing ourselves up that hill could mean the difference between driving triumphantly down the Vegas Strip tonight or sadly watching our car get towed away on a flatbed. As I was mentioning, energy use is speed and elevation. So the slower we go up here, the less energy will burn up and the more chance we've got. It already shows 198, but again, we can't panic because we're going up the hill. When we get to the top and start going down, that range a little way up and it'll look like we'd make it no problem and then we'll start to go up the one after Baker and that's when we <laughs> may have to get concerned. Okay. 130 miles later, our water bottles were so hot they were undrinkable, so we decided to make a much needed pit stop. All right, we just stopped in Baker for some food and drinks. We are now replenished and ready to go. We've got 95 miles left and we have 189 miles of range, it says. That's what it says. We've gone almost halfway. We've used way less than half of the, of the charge. We've got like 31 uh, kilowatt hours used of the 85 total. And we're using it at about the same rate that Kim and Benson did yesterday on the Flatlands with their headwinds. So I'm feeling pretty good, but we still have that big hill over there to okay. climb. So if you'll stick with me until we get to the top of the hill, and it looks like we can make it. Let's turn the air conditioning on. What do you say? Yes, I say yes. And let's cruise the strip <laughs> on our original charge. We're going to do it. Though things were looking good, we still had one last crucial uphill stretch. And Frank was determined to make sure we wasted no energy. Don't use the brakes. Okay. Just kidding. Okay. Crash into them. It's more efficient. <laughs> The lack of air conditioning was definitely less than ideal, but we were in good spirits and we were really curious to see how our trip would end. Getting some protein. 
road trips are all about road food. Mm-hmm. No doubt about it. We should get the porch cookie out. Oh God, you think? Yeah. All right. Tell all right, it's going to tell us if we're going to make it. This cookie is going to predict what will happen to okay. us Okay. And there's been no monkey business. You didn't go to nope. the... Nope, nope. Elon Musk did not give you this, this fortune Absolutely cookie? Absolutely not. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Crystal ball. If your desires are not extravagant, they will be granted. <laughs> How extravagant is it to want to go to Vegas in a hundred thousand dollar Tesla on one go? It sounds slightly extravagant, yeah, but I'm going to hope bit. that you know the the spirit of uh, Nikola Tesla is smiling down on us. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to try to get this trucker to honk his big ass horn. All right, ready? All right. So, what what place your bets? Will he do it? No. Really? Give it a whirl. Okay. Oh, you're no fun. As the elevation rose to 4,000 feet, our projected range took a dive, but we knew we'd be able to recoup some on the descent. So we're coming to the top of the hill here. We're showing an 85 mile projection. We're showing we've used uh, 43 kilowatt hours. That's about half, uh, right that's at half. That's fast. But we only have 75 miles to go. 10 miles of strip cruising, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And we're gonna get less of that back when we go down the hill. So yes, hopefully right. we're just gonna be in Fat City. Confident we were gonna make it there, it was time for the revelry to begin. Our first indulgence, air conditioning. Wow, with the air on, my ice isn't melting. I quickly <laughs> have to get water. And I'm not stuck to my seat anymore. I know. And look, it's only 48 miles to go. 114. And we've got like, we're doing like this. 118. 17 miles. And what's a road trip without grooving to some music and singing some songs you're embarrassed to admit you enjoy? Bring it down. Oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I feel like my my jeans got real baggy all of a sudden. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> and the time. As we crossed the state line, I made one last quick pit stop at the Nevada Welcome Center. Frank and I spent most of the home stretch hypothesizing about how long ago we could have turned the air conditioning on. But ultimately, we were glad we'd erred on the side of caution because we were about to take our victory lap. So we made it, we're here. We did what has never been done. We drove the Model S over 200 miles from LA to Vegas. We have arrived. It's gotta be the first electric car that's made a 212 mile trip on its original charge. And we're still showing 64 miles of potential range. Wanna go to Reno? Yes. About that Reno thing, we weren't kidding.